I'm Simon Breen, um, farming here in Emily, County Tipperary, uh, second generation farming here. My parents would have bought this farm in 1978 and moved here in 79. We initially were milking cows here, or still are milking cows, but milking 100 cows here by the time quotas came in in 1983. So that restricted them for a long time. We were back to about 67, 70 cows there at one stage. But we continued to buy land, um, even though we were reduced in cow numbers. At that stage, we were rearing a lot of beef calves. We were buying in calves. We were finishing around 130 cattle a year at that time. I was doing work with the Farmer Leaf. I was doing AI work with Eurogene. I um, was doing little bits of nicks and acts around the place. In about the mid 2000s, we got into a parent son partnership or two parents family partnership. That allowed us access to quota. We got up to about 140 cows. That continued on until about 2007 or eight when, when I got married, 2007 when I got married. About 2009, I suppose, my wife joined the partnership. And then obviously quotas came off in 2015. I had bought land and my parents transferred the rest of the farm to me. We have built a herd in some, some, from about 170 cows at that stage to gradually to about 250 cows now. When the quotas left in, obviously the beef left as well. Uh, so we converted all that accommodation to, to cows. When you're in a system like I am, so it's a grass system on maybe Look, last year we fed 770 kilos a meal. Some of that was because we couldn't build enough grass in the autumn. So we've got to realise what's the limitations of that system. The herd here behind me, in that system, calving interval 364 days. Six week calving rate, 93%. Consistently under 10% empty rate. I think last year it was 8%, the year before it was 7 Doing over 500 kilos of mixed solids. 503 kilos of mixed solids supplied to Creamery last year. 490 fat, 390 protein. Those are the types of figures that are consistently being delivered here and are improving on every year. Can we get to, can we get to 490 to 5%? Can we get to 390 to 4%? That's my next aim. It's an efficient, labor efficient system. It's, it's a scale efficient system. It's land type. These cows just tick the boxes. There's a lot of walking here. There's a lot of on off grazing done here generally in the spring. And that is hard on cows, but these cows are able for it and can tolerate it. When we changed from, say, the Frisian cow to the more Jersey cow, then you had to make a decision, what system am I in now? So I decided to change the system to suit the Jersey. It did not suit the Frisians. They, I could see it, they were struggling. They fell out pretty quickly out of the system. And this is what I've ended up with, a cow that suits what I want to do. In bull selection, I rely heavily on um, LIC and LIC advisors to come out, visit the farm. David is my current advisor. I've had great advisors over the, over the years. David's current one. I rely on him very heavily. When I look at BW and the BW team that David has put together for me this year, they're 0.56, 5.6 on fat and 4.3 on protein. He always has the inside track on every particular bull. There was a bull there this year, was low on fertility. But David knew that that bull had been, the cows of that bull had been flushed and that was skewing the figure. So I was taking David's advice that that figure will improve in time. And to be fair to them, without exception, every bull that they've ever advised me to use has come out trumps. I'm not chasing a high EBI calf. I'm looking for a high EBI cow. And the cows, when they develop their own EBI from milk corn or through longevity, their EBI are as good as anyone's. I rely completely on David. He knows what I'm looking for. I might throw in or out the odd bull, but he knows what I want. Um, and that's been always the way with LIC. They've always guided me in the right direction. They know what I want. And um, they have the bulls now. The only proviso I put in with David is that I like to use a bull that's slightly more Frisian than Jersey, um, just to keep a bit more size in the cows, a little bit more size in the cows. Um, now we will go down under 50-50 Jersey Frisian into the more slightly more Jersey if the bull is particularly, particularly good. But I try to stay up generally into the higher uh, Frisian portion, the like the ZSP, that type of a more frisian bull. I don't have any particular criteria. They have to have sort of a few linears, right? They have to have capacity. Have to be very strong capacity, because they're small, they have to be capacious. They have to have good teeth and other presentation. The jerseys, the pure jerseys I've found over the years can be a bit weak 
on others. So I put a bit of emphasis on that. Um, and I also look at the, the fertility uh, index from New Zealand, I think is critical. That needs to be positive. I might see a bull that I particularly like, and I mentioned it to David, and I, maybe that particular bull mightn't suit exactly what you're looking for. David, as I said, David always would have some little bit of more background knowledge. It's not printed in the catalogue. He seems to know it, and I go with that. If somebody was to look at my um, co-op performance report, I'm five stars for fat, protein, milk price, six weeks submission rates, and EBI. The one where I am falling down on only one star, or even less than one star if it was possible, is on sire selection. There's no square on the milk check for EBI of the calves. I'm not concerned about that. The people that are buying surplus stock off me, they don't ask me about EBI either. They ask me what the breeding is, the background, the LIC, and all that kind of stuff. I'm getting the top, or one of the top, 1% of milk price in the co-op. They're doing all the other KPIs that I mentioned. The only thing we're falling back on is the actual bulls I'm using is low, uh, low EBI, but the cows are high EBI. An observation or concern that some people might have when they come to see the cows is they're, they're small cows like, and they are small cows. My maintenance figure is 30. So the mature cows are probably, on average, 490. There's heifers there probably only 400 kilos like. They're, they're very efficient. 503 kilos of milk solids from a herd of cows now we haven't weighed them, but on, on paper should be 490 kilos of milk solids. There's cows here behind me doing 700 kilos of milk solids. There's very few drawbacks with these ladies.